Day. Last year I did my first Free Comic Book Day haul, 2014, woo woo, and I got a request to do another one and I was like, let's just make this a yearly thing. So today I'm showing you what I got for Free Comic Book Day. For those of you who don't know, Free Comic Book Day is super cool. It happens the first Saturday in May. Participating comic book shops give out free comics and they also usually do deals and stuff so you can get some really awesome stuff for real cheap. They also do one around like the Halloween time, a Halloween free comic book day. It's great times and this year I went to two different comic book shops and there was some good stuff. I literally had to stop myself because I was going crazy. Wanted to get everything. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the free comics that I got. The first one I have here is Bongo Free For All which is a Simpsons comic and then I have the all new, all different Avengers, which I thought was fitting since Avengers Age of Ultron just came out. Let me tell you guys, I saw it and it was great. And then I got this Doctor Who comic, which I thought was really cool because, you know, you got all three Doctors, three amazing stories. And this was one that people were looking all over the place for it, um, at least at my comic book shops. I got one of the last ones and then in the second store I went to, they didn't have any left and people were like, why? They wanted them really bad. Then I got this Bob's Burgers comic, which I am really excited about. I love Bob's Burgers. I think it's a really funny show. And this comic is funny because it's kind of like them holding the comic of them, holding the comic of them. You know, it's like trippy. It's trippy. Very cool cover. And then I got this Spongebob Freestyle Funnies. At the second comic book store I went to, I got this 10-year celebration, 2015 free comic book day special from Kaboom. They have some Adventure Time stories, Munchkin, which I thought was cool because I didn't know that they had a comic book about the game Munchkin, which I learned about from Tabletop. Such a fun game. And I actually ended up getting some other Munchkin comics, which I'll show you. But um, they have, I think this is Bravest Warriors, some Labyrinth, Garfield, Peanuts, Regular Show, just a lot of different stuff that I'm excited to read. Then I got this, oh I think this is upside down. I got this manga style Pokemon uh, comic. Savage Dragon Legacy, Secret Wars, and then a preview of Secret Wars. And Divergence, which I heard is really good. And then I bought a lot of comics, and I shouldn't have bought that many, but I couldn't stop myself. There was some really cool stuff. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys, I'm very excited about, and I will link to my last Free Comic Book Day haul, because you will remember this. I found last year a first issue of this Hook official movie adaptation, and this year I found the entire book, which is so cool. I'm excited to read it. I love, you know, movie adaptations. I love things like this, so I can't wait to read it. Hook, I mean, it's such a freaking good movie. I also got The Ren and Stimpy Show. I got this Assistant Size Marvel Spectacular, which looks like it's funny, and I really like funny comics, so I picked up this one. And I also got the What The, because I'm pretty sure these are parodies and I think those are really funny. I believe this one is also, what, huh? I think it's gonna be funny. I see um, Spider-Ham in the back over here. I also got these Hulk Grey comics. I thought these looked really cool. I got a little series. They didn't have all of them, but I thought the covers were awesome. And you know, Hulk was actually gray in the first comic books. Pretty crazy. I got this giant-sized X-Men with stories from Joss Whedon and Neil Adams. And I just thought this cover looked so cool. Look at all these heroes flying at you. I got two issues of Kick-Ass 2, so I'm excited to read those. I don't really know exactly what this is, but I thought it looked interesting. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, then I got the New Avengers number one. This Catwoman. Superman Misadventures. And then I got Superman Adventures number one, based on the new animated series on the WB. Remember when the WB was a thing? And then I got this Supergirl. I thought this looked really cool, mesmerized. And this, The Adventures of Superman Back from the Dead. I haven't opened it, but I'm sure it's going to be cool. And I got this Daily Planet, Superman Save the Planet. I thought this just looked really awesome. I mean, you got the kind of newspaper cover, really epic Superman pose. I got Fantastic Four with Spider-Man, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, The Sensational She-Hulk with Spider-Man. You can see there's like a little theme going on here. 
Howard the Duck, which I have not read any Howard the Duck, but I know that they showed a scene with him at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was like, oh, this looks cool, let me pick it up and just kind of see what it's all about. And Fantastic Four, Welcome Home Invisible Woman. Going off of what I said about the Munchkin comics based on the board game, I got two right here. I thought these were awesome. I'm excited to check them out and see, you know, what they're all about. And at the back of each of them, they come with a cool card that goes along with the game. So, I'm excited. I found this, which I thought was really cool. Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return. So, obviously, it goes along with the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure story, and I love that movie. Guardians of the Galaxy comic book based on the Disney XD series. The Sleepy Hollow comic book from the Fox series, which, you know, like I said, I love finding movie, TV show adaptations, and so these were really cool to find. Oh, this I thought was really cool. This is a Bob's Burgers Midtown Comics exclusive cover. You get to see Midtown Comics and, you know, Bob's family just, like, enjoying New York City. I found this Harley Quinn comic, which is a special rub and smell spectacular, and I was really excited about this because I went to New York Comic Con and I was at a panel where they were talking about making this and, you know, how they've never really done something like this before, you know, scratch and sniff, and I was like, what? Ah, I found it, and I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Then I found this Garbage Pail Kids Puketacular with um, an exclusive trading card sticker. I thought this looked cool. Comic-Con Ron, you know, Garbage Pail Kids. Classic. Classic. My last one that I got was Gem and the Holograms number one. Over here, I love this holographic thing going on. Love that. And I just thought this cover was so cute. That is it, guys. That is my free comic book day haul. Not all those comics were free, as you no, but um, I think that I did pretty well. I'm excited to read all of them and just enjoy my comics until the next free comic book day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you went to free comic book day, leave a comment below and let me know how it was for you. What'd you get? Was this your first time? Did you enjoy it? I think it was pretty successful all around. And you know what, actually, there was a lot of people at Free Comic Book Day this year. I think, I don't know if it's just, you know, the popularity of, of you know, Marvel and DC and all of that nowadays. You know, we've got some really great TV shows and movies out there. But this year it was definitely more crowded than I've seen it in the past. And I think that's awesome. I mean, it's not good for me because people are going to take all my comics. But, no. but, you know, it's awesome that everyone's really getting into it and, you know, reading more and getting more into these awesome you know, superheroes and comics and just these really cool stories. Thanks for watching. I'll leave my social media links in the description box below as per usual. And click that subscribe button if you like my videos because I come out with new ones every week. See ya!